Yeah, I'm a journalist, and I've done a lot of writing for the New York Times and other other uh, magazines and, and papers. And um, we had been through an ordeal with my son, who um, had become addicted to methamphetamine. And really, our, our family was completely torn apart, and we suffered through that for years. Um, I wrote a piece about it with some trepidation, but it came out, um, and the reaction was really dramatic. Uh, people seemed to respond. Uh, people either uh, had been going through something similar with their family or um, were grasping for with other problems that families these days face. Uh, and based on that, uh, and based on a lot of uh, really, really sort of, uh, it, it sort of was like an open uh, door to conversation with people, with you know, people I knew and strangers, I uh, decided to go forward and, and to tell the story in, in, in much more depth. Um, at the time, I thought that you could that one could speak, a parent could speak about his child's drug addiction in the past tense, um, uh, maybe a year into this process, uh, Nick relapsed. And I realized uh, then what I know now, which is that this is not necessarily a problem that we speak of in the past tense. It's an ongoing problem. The book was interrupted uh, when Nick, Nick relapsed. I didn't know if I could write it. Um, I didn't even know if we were going to survive it. Um, I didn't know if he was going to survive it. And I didn't know if I could survive watching my son on that collision course. Um, and he was doing better. And I was uh, going forward writing, and I had a brain hemorrhage. And ended up in the emergency room. And then I ended up in the uh, ICU. Uh, in San Francisco, and so I, I, once again, I didn't know if I was ever going to get back to writing this story, and, and so it, to, to me it feels sort of miraculous in a lot of different ways that that um, uh, my son is well. Uh, he's written a book for young adults called Tweak uh, that is tells the story from his perspective, and uh, and my book Beautiful Boy is uh, is out now, and it really um, is. Uh, something that I say with, you know, it's 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 it's, it's emotional. It's 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 um, uh, I feel you know, sort of optimistic, hopeful, but with trepidation. When things are overwhelming to me, um, I will sit down and write. I've always written journals. I've always kept notes. I write on the back of my hand on napkins. It's it's just a part of my life. When this was going on, and my son was lost when he was on the streets, when I didn't know if I would see him again, when I was in desperate worry, writing became an essential part of just living, of coping. Um, then later, uh, it also became integral in not just getting out all this anguish and all this sense of being overwhelmed, but also in somehow trying to understand what was going on and trying to organize my thoughts and in trying to uh, make sense of what was happening. And you know, there's, only, it, 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 there's only so much you can do with writing or anything else. This thing is a little bit, it's, it's not, this thing is bigger in some ways, then it doesn't make sense. It is, it, it's a continual trial, and every time I thought I had a grasp on it, things would spiral out of control again, but it certainly helped.